So you might be in a situation where for some reason your Android Auto is just not working. Now, this can happen for a couple of different reasons. As always, there's never just one reason why something like this could end up happening. The number one thing to do though is to first see if your particular phone is using Android Auto plugged in or if it's using it wireless. If it's using it plugged in, you might want to check the wired connection, making sure it's a solid connection because sometimes if it's not, and that can also be a problem you might run into. However, if that doesn't seem to be the issue, if that does not seem to be the problem, the next thing I'd probably recommend doing is to make your way over into your settings application of your Android phone, searching up auto or Android auto, whichever one will come up first. So you can just type in auto or Android auto, and you should be able to find the Android auto portion here. Tap on it, and then you'll come into this page. What you wanna do next is you wanna go ahead and just get into the additional settings in the app portion, and you wanna make sure that your device is connected to Android Auto. Sometimes your phone, your device in general may not actually be connected. So that might be the problem you might be running into. So make sure it's connected and that can very well be the main way to go and fix this problem for the most part. Now, if that doesn't seem to be working, you might wanna try reconnecting your device to your Android Auto, you know, to your car. So try going through reconnecting your, you know, Android Auto machine, your phone to your car, seeing if that ends up fixing it. And if that doesn't end up doing it, you can also try updating your phone. So make your way over to your settings application of your phone. And go ahead and swipe all the way down until you see this little portion right here that says system. Click on system, scroll down until you see software updates. And all you're going to want to do is basically software update your phone. So click on system update and try seeing if there's an update available. If there is, download and install the latest update. And that's pretty much all you're going to have to do. So that pretty much covers it up here. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.